Texas state parks are our last wild places. There are past and our future. This way. But as Texas continues its exponential growth, our state parks struggle to keep up. Hi guys, I'm sorry the park's closed right now. We're at capacity. For us at Penn State Park over the last 15 years, the visitation has nearly tripled. While we love to see the people come out and get to enjoy their park, we do start to get concerned about both um, sustainability for the resource base, but also the quality of the experience that people are coming here for. So it's Sunday of Memorial Day weekend at Ray Roberts Lake State Park. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning and they're all ready backed up almost to the highway. That parking down there is real full. And this is typical as we get busier and busier each year as visitation increases, even our non-holiday weekends, we're starting to back up as, as folks try and get into the park. And it's not just the locals. A study from Texas A&M University found that state parks draw in tourists who wouldn't otherwise come to those areas. The research shows that state parks bring in more than $774 million each year to the Texas economy. People who are traveling to a destination such as a state park, they're going to stop maybe two or three times and spend money all along the way. The economic impact has a huge ripple effect. For much of Texas, state parks are vital to the local community. State parks mean a healthier community, a happier community. They mean that we're getting kids out away from television sets and smartphones. State parks are not a luxury. They are an integral part of a quality of life that we all enjoy here. But natural disasters have taken a heavy toll, and the backlog of park repairs is growing. <laughs> to ensure our state park system meets the needs of today's Texas, we need to modernize our park facilities develop more public parkland, and provide experiences for a day and a lifetime. Now is the time to set the course for the future. <laughs>